Daisy, thank you. Our Fill the Fridge Perishable Food Drive continues today out in Lee Summit. This food drive benefits harvesters, so we want to use this time to just highlight some of the work harvesters does to try to end hunger in our community. So, Case HB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan standing in a garden this morning. Why exactly, Charlie? I'm going to roll up my sleeves here this morning, Taylor, to tell you about the demonstration garden that Harvesters has here. This is where they teach people how to grow their own food, and we're talking about some good stuff here. Sweet potatoes are in the ground down here, Taylor. That will make some good sweet potato fries for you. And if we just pan up a little bit, tilt up, we'll see. There are some tomatoes on the vine that are looking good as they grow here to get you ready for your summer cookouts and whatnot. Uh, but I got a chance to speak with the master gardener here, Mary McClure. She is the expert and she walks people through all sorts of different things on how to use a raised bed, what kind of containers are best for growing, what kind of vegetables, which vegetables do best in the Midwest environment here and whatnot. So it was really awesome to follow her along and get to see her as she worked here in the garden. She really loves this and says that people who grow their own produce tend to eat more fruits and veggies and tend to be a little more active. So by gardening, you're actually promoting a healthier lifestyle, which is also part of Harvester's uh, uh, mission. I enjoy gardening. I grew up on a farm. I enjoy being out here in the beautiful weather. But really, the mission to help feed the hungry is really gratifying. And that is one of the reasons our, our master gardener volunteers that help every week come back. They come back to keep the garden looking good, and this is a little bit of a small garden. Of course, they don't produce enough vegetables out of this garden to supply the entire uh, you know, supply that they need out of harvesters, so they ask farmers and other people to donate. They even have a plant a row for the hungry. When they ask farmers to plant a row of crops that they'll donate to harvesters, so really make sure they meet that demand, Lindsay and Taylor. It is a really big demand in yes. the community, too. And so how many pounds of produce, Charlie, give us a number, how many pounds of produce did harvesters give out last year? In 2020, Lindsay, they gave out 17 million pounds of oh, fresh gosh. produce, which is about well, a quarter of all the uh, things that they give out here at Harvesters, including food and household goods and items. My goodness.